Farmer, 29 years old, stands at 5'6". He has a reach advantage over the 27-year-old Jojo Diaz. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the IBF Junior Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, the challenger. He fights out of the red corner and stands with his head trainer, Joseph Diaz Sr. He wears gray with black and red trim. This 2012 Olympian scaled at already 129.8 pounds. His professional record, an excellent one. 30 victories, only one defeat. He's got 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former WBA gold, WBC NABF and WBO NABO featherweight champion tonight, appearing in his third world title attempt, representing South El Monte, California. Ladies and gentlemen, Joseph Jojo Diaz Jr. Diaz Jr. And the defending champion fighting out of the blue corner. He stands with his head trainer, Raul Chino Rivas. He wears the black with blue and pink. He scaled the junior lightweight limit of 130 pounds, bang on. His professional record, 30 victories, four defeats, one draw, one no contest, and six wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and tonight, making his fifth defense of his world title, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the reigning and defending IBF Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Tevin, American Idol, Start of round at number one, the IBF Junior Lightweight Championship. Tevin Farmer in the black trunks with the floral trim in those bright colors. And Jojo Diaz wearing the silver trunks with the glittering red. You know, already between these two guys, you can see the size advantage for Tevin Farmer, not just in height, but Tevin Farmer is a full-fledged 130-pounder. Jojo Diaz making just his fourth fight in this weight class. That was one of the things Tevin Farmer told us yesterday, saying he feels like Jojo Diaz is just too small and he will be able to bully Jojo. Chris, you've also talked about the need for Tevin Farmer to make this an exciting fight. But look, Tevin Farmer is not going to take many chances in the ring. That's not speculation. He effectively told us as much yesterday. If he has to win boring, he's going to win boring. But he wants big fights too. Javante Davis, perhaps. Lomachenko, who's been a sparring partner of Tevin's before. You're not going to get those fights unless you prove yourself to be a television-friendly fighter. Don't hit him behind the head. You understand? Wait. It's a rarity to see two southpaws facing each other, especially at the high level like this. But both these fighters are very accustomed to fighting left-handed fighters, both coming off back-to-back uh, -back fights with southpaws. And when we ask Tevin Farmer, how does he feel about fighting the left-hander? He says, it comes down to speed, and I have the size and the speed over Jojo Diaz. talked about that opportunity against Russell. What Jojo Diaz learned, he said he absolutely needs to take more risks tonight against Tevin Farmer than he did with that loss to Russell. I mean, losing to Russell is no shame. Russell is an elite 126-pound fighter, but Jojo Diaz said he got too complacent, was doing too much of the same things. To get to Tevin Farmer, you have to take big chances, go to the body hard, be aggressive, and he says we're going to see all of that tonight. Diaz had a second title shot against Jesus Rojas, but could not make weight. Won the fight, but did not win the belt as a result. And shortly after, moved up to 130 pounds, where he has been much happier. The 
because he had really struggled to make 126. Good body shots there. Ideas for him staying cool and collected, picking off the shots. He's a sucker for it all day long. Okay, when you're touching the bottom, he's dropping and hits left. Okay, beautiful work. Control everything from the outside. Let's not give anything that we don't need to give. That's excellent work. And stand up behind the jab. You have to work off the jab, okay? And as soon as you decide to step back, as soon as you decide to step back, close, you gotta close them like going. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right? Okay. And don't, don't eat smack. Stay, stay there. there. And then when he, the combination, stay there. You know, something to watch there. Tevin Farmer in between rounds said that he hurt his hand a little in that first round. We'll see if that manifests itself in some way in this fight. Yeah, as soon as the first round ended, he was shaking his right hand towards his corner and then had to verbally bring it to their attention in the midst of that dialogue. Now, remember, it was Jojo Diaz who had to fight with a hurt left hand his last time out and was able to just scrape by with a majority decision win over Jesus Quadro. And if uh, Tevin Farmer didn't hurt that right hand, that's what he controls the distance and the pace with, because that's his jabbing hand, and he throws a lot of jabs. That's like how he controls the uh, the tempo of the fight. Perhaps it'll make him a little more hesitant to do so. We'll see if... Well, he, has any effect on Farmer. He'll be able to flick the jab and, and, and get the, the distance, but as far as landing it hard and turning that, those knuckles in, that's when he'll feel the, the effects of the hand. All of a sudden, a cut around the left eye of Jojo Diaz. Oh, that's in a tough spot, too, right above that left eye. That's a bad cut, too, it looks like. And it looked like Farmer that went to try and pick it off with the right hand. comes early in this fight. This fight was anticipated by a, box, a lot of boxing purists who would hate for it to end in the technicality before the fourth round on that cut. Yeah, you can see the blood protruding from that cut as Farmer continues to tap at it. Jojo Diaz to call out Farmer on social media, try and get this fight made. Farmer clarified to us, though, he said, oh, I like him. Yeah, I, think, I think a lot of the, quote, animosity between these two largely manufactured. In a lot of the same ways, the animosity between Farmer and Jojo, uh, Jono Carroll was manufactured. So after that fight, they went out and got cheesesteaks together. And Farmer joked with us, he said, I'll go get a cheesesteak with Jojo tomorrow. A little different than what's materialized between Javante Davis and Tevin Farmer. That, I think, has more meat to it. Jojo Diaz told us he has to take more chances in order to become champion. And with that bad cut under that eye, he's going to have to take even more chances and gamble. from Diaz, and then shots to the body from Farmer. And a nice exchange at the end of the second round. Don't worry about it. Go, that's nothing, go so. But listen to what I'm telling you, son. Okay. You, gotta, you gotta let your hands more busy. You hear what I'm telling you? Yeah, yeah. You're around, the rounds are good, son, but you got to be more busy. That's a bad cut in a bad more. spot, and Instead usually it's because of headbutts. And here we're going to see that's exactly what it was. And, and when you're cutting, that was unintentional, but that's what happens when 
two left-handers fight like that because they're not used to fighting each other. That's a bad cut. I'm telling you, more output. You have to. Do it. Okay? Come on, Joe. What are they going to do? They got hurt too guys. Sergio, how does jo Jojo Diaz continue with that? It's going to be very difficult because he's going to have to not only be fighting Tevin Farmer, but fighting off the blood coming out of that left eye. That's a bad cut. Unintentional, unintentional headbutt. And they are taking a further look at this cut. We're good? Yeah. All right, good. Over here. And he is going to be cleared to continue. I'm in. We'll see how much nastier that gets for Jojo Diaz. Well, Tevin Farmer is an exceptionally smart fighter, too. You know that cut is going to be a big target for him as you see him right away go upstairs, look for that eye. Yep. And the thing about bad cuts, sometimes it's all up to the fighter that got cut. It's the body language. The doctor has to do his job, of course, if it's that, if, if it's a really bad cut. But sometimes if you're giving the doctor a reason to stop the fight, they'll stop it. Right there, Jojo Diaz was nodding his head and did not want to stop this fight over that cut. And the harsh warning to both fighters. Chris, would you score the first two rounds? Yeah, you know, I split the rounds one round apiece. I thought Jojo Diaz had a pretty effective second round despite the presence of that cut. It's interesting watching Tevin Farmer stand his ground more than I've seen him do in recent fights. Certainly not the Fred Wall fight. It does look more like the early rounds of the John O'Carroll fight. Diaz trying to dig at the body of Farmer. Covers up nicely. And this is where Diaz is effective when he starts combination punching. And like Chris touched on, Farmer is staying a little bit more stationary, digging that ground, getting that respect, which is giving the opportunity for Diaz to, to unleash combinations. You see once again, the blood over that left eye. Jojo Diaz. Going back on, on Joan O'Carroll fight with Tevin Farmer, Diaz told us that he actually watched that fight and seen that Carroll was having a lot of success breaking down Farmer, but he got fatigued toward the end and, and wasn't able to adjust, which is exactly what he wants to do in this fight. Yeah, he saw that as an encouraging sign for himself. So this fight is all or nothing for me. Jojo Diaz realizing how important this opportunity is tonight. Yeah, Jojo had a lot of success in the amateurs being an Olympian, and he was a, a highly touted prospect coming out of the Olympics. But he's 0-2 in title shots, and this could possibly be his last uh, opportunity to win a world title. Diaz dealt with mental health struggles in recent years, but came out the other side and found a renewed focus and energy here with boxing. Big shot to the body there from Jojo Diaz. And that's what he has to focus on, concentrate on the body. Farmer once again just getting his right hand on that cut of Diaz. Accuracy is one of Farmer's strong points. Aside from being resilient and a brilliant boxer, amazing defensively, it's pinpoint accuracy that makes him special. This is all that pressure is what you gotta do. You just stay busy, but every time you shoot your left hand to the body, your left hand to the top, you see how right deep that cut is Always follow with above the, other side the left eye drive. of Jojo Don't Diaz. Keep putting that pressure. Keep Caused by an accidental right headbutt in the second round your right hand is the from key. Tevin Farmer. Use your right hand more to the chest. Uppercut to the chest. Uppercut to the chest. Keep your left hand following the other side, okay? This is what he tries to go away from you. Cut him off and go again. You understand? All right, Nancy, keep that pressure like that, Keep that pressure. That's a gash right there. And they're doing a good job stopping the bleeding, but once he goes in there and starts getting hit by shots, I mean, it just opens right up, and it's heavy drips of blood. It's not just the, 
Step back, it's step not back, just step small back, drips, it's, it's, it's gushing. Yeah, it's Sergio, it's because of the depth of that cut. You can see it from ringside that when he gets hit, the blood's just pooling in that cut and then slowly dripping down significantly, right? Like, and it's, it's thick drips of blood. Farmer has gone almost eight years without a loss, making his fifth defense of his world title. Jojo Diaz, a two-time national champ as an amateur, as Sergio told you, he's had a couple of title shots as a pro, neither of which came through. The third shot today. Diaz talked about wanting to apply smart pressure. He said he feels like Tevin Farmer is a seven-round fighter. I'm not so sure where he gets that idea. Nice right hand there from Diaz to finish off that combination. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, go throw. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Go hit him in the back. Diaz has been reminded multiple times to not hit Farmer in the back. Claudia Trejos is going to fill us in on how the rules for this fight factor in when it comes to that cut Jojo Diaz. Claudia? Thank you, Ryan. I just spoke to the commission, and they declared this is an unintentional headbutt. Therefore, if the fight can continue, it's up to the doctor to say that he can't do it. It's up to the fighter to decide that he can't do it or his corner. If it gets past the fourth round, they'll go to the cards. If it ends before the fourth round, it'll be a no contest. All right, so this is a critical round here, Claudia, as this is the fourth round. Armour still tossing that jab JoJo's way. As JoJo goes back to the body of four. Back at the body of Farmer. Farmer misses wildly with the left. And the cut was a little more under control in that fourth round. Go, sir. Go, sir. That pressure. Hey, combinations and three or four punches, go, go. Right away, go, sir. Right away. Don't look for the fucking head. You heard him with a body shot. He's Jojo, getting tired. Breathe, 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 breathe. Son, it's the body one. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 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 Breathe, breathe, Adamantly, yeah, there. Joel Diaz is telling me he needs to get on him. Put some work. Concentrate on the body. Whenever Wait, you're dealing with, with a fighter with going. amazing defense, especially from the southpaw angle, you just got to focus on the body to try to break him down. One thing Tevin Farmer told us is that no fighter ever walks me down. And that's exactly what they want Jojo Diaz to do, to walk down Farmer. Stop, 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 stop. Go throw, step back. Chris, how do you have a score? Right? Yeah, I've got a three rounds to one for Jojo Diaz at this point. I think he's landing. Look, he's managed that cut extremely well. It's a nasty looking cut, but it feels like he's been able to overcome it at least up until this point. I don't think that Devin Farmer has been as elusive as I've seen him in the past. Maybe he wants to, maybe he feels like he's the more physically dominant fighter and wants to win spectacularly, but you're not seeing the same elusive guy. Well, he told us he's the bigger fighter, and he's going to impose his will and size on him, and maybe that's why he's fighting a little bit more 
flat-footed. But it's a, it's a close fight. I mean, I think Farmer is in this fight. It's back and forth, but they want more pressure from Diaz. He has talked about applying smart pressure, talked about taking chances. Diaz being warned not to hold Tevin Farmer. You know, one thing about Diaz that he is and has been has been a very accurate puncher. So Tevin Farmer, it may not be a lack of defense. Diaz just throughout his career has regularly outlanded opponents. Good shot. Good straight left hand landed by Diaz. Farmer comes right back. Farmer's blinking his eyes like something's wrong with his eyes, or he, he keeps on blinking. And looking up at the clock, too. Nice shots there from Diaz. I think something's wrong with, with Farmer's eyes. He's blinking in a funny way and looking up at the, at the time. Good with the way this fight has started, despite that cut. Let him go, let him go, let him go, box. Let him go, let him go. Let him go. Let's go, gentlemen. Let's go. It's changing close at the bodies. At the bell, gentlemen. Start around number six. Sergio, what have you seen from Jojo Diaz so far? Well, Jojo landed a clean left right hand. That usually Farmer, uh, he, he, his, def his defense is really too good to be getting hit with straight left hands like that. But I have seen Diaz apply the pressure more. Joel Diaz in his corner wants him to continue putting the pressure. That Farmer can't handle that pressure. But history shows that Farmer loves when they're coming at him, just like Joe Carroll did. He was able to hurt Carroll with that aggression. You know, one thing about Farmer coming into this fight, he's the world champion, but and despite his activity, he hasn't fought some of the level of Jojo Diaz in a long time. Jojo is a significant step up in competition in this fight for Tevin Farmer, coming off his more recent contest. Oh, that's a good point. I mean, with wins with uh, champions like Rene, Rene Alvarado and Andrew Cancio, I mean, he has he has maybe the the better resume, but as far as the better story and the resilience, and coming back from a knockout loss in his pro debut and, and the losses he had early, I mean, Farmer is as resilient as it gets. Claudia has been chatting with Tevin Farmer's corner. Let's check in with Claudia. Thank you, Ryan. Check out the way Jojo dips as he walks into Tevin Farmer's pocket. So Chino Rivas, Tevin Farmer's coach, wants Tevin to capitalize on that opportunity and use the jab. So that way, it'll create more attack, more aggression over Jojo. Well, they want more jabs, but that was the right hand that he was shaking, saying that he might have injured. So I don't know if he can uh, throw the, the jab as, as well as he wants to throw it, as hard and as crisp. Are you seeing anything, Sergio, with the approach from Farmer that would lead you to believe that right hand has been a problem? Well, uh, Chris alluded to this earlier that he's a little bit more stationary. Okay, we, we know that he wants to maybe dig down and punch harder, but he's not, yeah, he's not m moving and punching with that jab as he should, controlling the distance and the pace of the fight. And it might be because he has that injured right hand. The end of the first round went back to his corner, shaking his right hand, saying he had hurt it a little bit. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the composure shown 
by Jojo Diaz with a cut like that coming so early in the fight. He has really maintained a calm in the ring. Fought very effectively, I feel, in the first half of this fight. I agree. And, and in the fighter meetings, I mean, he exuded confidence. He was energetic. He was in a good mood. He was lively. And he just couldn't wait to get in here and fight for this title. And, and it's showing because that, that, that cut usually would discourage a boxer, but not Diaz. Armour unloads a combination of the body of Diaz. You cannot make this a close fight, okay? We let him throw punches, okay? At the end of the day, judges see this. So you know what? When you press, he cannot fight. So we got to press. Okay. We cannot let this fight be closed. You understand that? Yes. You, you know the whole system. And you know how the politics play like a big part. You understand that? Yes. So let's stop fucking around now. Let's walk him down. And at the end of the day, let's be the fucking aggressive. Okay. Let's take the fight to him. Okay? Everything off the jab. Let's not walk without a jab. Okay? Listen. Chino Rivas, the trainer of Tevin Farmer, saying, Listen, cannot let aggressive. this fight be closed. You understand that? Let's be aggressive. Let's fucking take the lead. Okay. You understand that? Let's yes. go. Nick. Give me, Bobby. Help peace. At the belt, gentlemen. Chino Rivas and Tevin Farmer's corner, they want him to get more aggressive to take the fight to Diaz. What do you think of that? Which is interesting because Farmer has made a career and, and has been active champion by being a brilliant boxer and amazing defense and head movement. Now they want him to get aggressive and put pressure on Diaz. But you got to do what you got to do to defend these titles. And if Chino Rivas, who's an excellent trainer, if he sees his man falling behind or, or making this fight a little bit too close, then they got to put the they got to put some pressure and, and really get respect. Oh, it's interesting to hear him talk about the boxing politics and suggesting that there might be some momentum for Jojo Diaz to win this fight and reign as the world champion. I don't know if I buy that. And certainly, based on what we've seen in the first six rounds, Jojo Diaz has been excellent. Crowd becoming engaged with this flurry. And Farmer stick, staying in the pocket, exchanging the combinations with Diaz. And that's one thing about Jojo Diaz. He throws great combinations, never forgets the body. Uppercuts, they come from all over the place. You see the power punches through six rounds, according to CompuBox. With Tevin Farmer landing a higher percentage, but Jojo Diaz throwing and landing many more. Fighting inside here in the seventh round. Standing and exchanging as Farmer seems to have listened to his corner. Definitely listening to his corner. Taking the fight to Diaz, but Diaz holding his own. I mean, it's a back and forth fight. Nice right hand to the body from Diaz. Diaz has been composed and effective. Stay back, open up, stay back. You know, one thing to keep an eye on as we get into the later part of this fight, you know, Jojo Diaz said that he felt Tevin Farmer looked really depleted all throughout this week. And Tevin said he was fine. His promoter, people around him said he made weight fine, but Tevin's also said he's probably only got one or two fights left at 130 pounds, so perhaps the weight cut might have been an issue for Tevin Farmer. That's a, great, that's a great point, Chris, because at the fighter meetings, he, he didn't look as lively and energetic as Diaz, but you can never take too much off that from a champion. I mean, usually, you know, you, we know that he carries his chip on his shoulder. He's very confident Farmer is, but that weight, moving up and weight when you're a champion, that can maybe be a tell. Well, on the flip side, we have seen how energized Jojo Diaz has been since going up to 130 pounds. At the bell, gentlemen. For the struggles he had making weight at 126. That's what I'm talking about. See what I mean? I got you. See what I mean? Can't do shit when you walk him down. Listen, his left eye is getting back. Now do me a favor. When you pull him back with your left down, he's counter hook. Keep, keep that fucking left up, okay, Bobby? How you feeling? 
I feel good. Excellent. So let's keep what the same game for the same same way how we did that round. It's exactly how we go for him to fight. Be aggressive. Let's take it to him. Let's take the condition away from him. You understand that? Give him a step and an answer. You close him up with the angle. You understand? Okay. And you stay busy. Keep poking him down, poking him down. When you get close, you just shoot your left hand on top, okay. all right? How was that? Good. Very good. Everything you're doing wrong is fucking stepping back. Yeah. All you have to do is walk forward like a fucking truck. Put the fucking pressure, Joe. Okay, okay. He's dead tired, Joe. Put the fucking yeah. pressure, Joe. Yeah. Walk yeah. underneath. Yeah. Firm instructions from Joel Diaz in Jojo Diaz's corner. Start of the eighth round. The IBF Junior Lightweight Championship on the line. Chris, how are you scoring this one? You know, I gave that last round, the seventh round, to Tech and Farmer, but this has been a very strong first half of the fight for Jojo Diaz. He is more accurate. He has been active. And Tevin Farmer's defense has been his calling card for most of the successful stage of his career. It just really isn't there like we've seen in the past. Credit some of that, a lot of that, to Jojo Diaz, who's been a very good offensive fighter tonight. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Farmer's career got off to an inauspicious start. Began his career with a stoppage loss, went just 2-2-1 two, two and one through his first five fights, seventh four and one through his first 12, but now has won 23 straight and has not lost in almost eight years. Let him go, let him go. 2017 had to overcome both the torque right biceps as well as a bullet in his right hand. As said, in that right hand, he does often feel a little pain, and we saw him in the first round tonight saying he had hurt it a bit. Farmer said he was going to walk down the smaller man in Diaz, but right now it's Diaz coming forward, walking down the champion Farmer. It's steady pressure, it's walking him back. It's that educated pressure that Jojo Diaz told us that he wanted to apply. Sergio, one of the tells on fatigue is having your mouth open. In the last round or so, Devin Farmer's been fighting with his mouth open. Yeah, I've been noticing that. The body language said, uh, says a little bit of fatigue, but I just, maybe maybe it's the weight cut. Maybe it's the, the fact that he hurt his hand. He's been blinking his eyes in a funny way. I would like to know if there's something something uh, going on that we don't know. We know that's the hand, but if there's anything else. Diaz going to the body as Farmer counters with his own body shots. Diaz landing the better shots right here. Farmer holding his own, but Diaz landing some good shots. Farmer just standing there and exchanging with Jojo Diaz. Well, not for nothing, this isn't your typical brilliant boxing exhibition of a Tevin Farmer type fight. He's, he's holding his own more, he's fighting a, a, a more physical fight, but I don't think that's maybe the, the right case against Diaz. Diaz is maybe getting the better of it when they're exchanging. The end of eight rounds. Listen, if you're getting your athletic position, Joseph, you won't be able to smother you and grab you. You understand? All you gotta do is bend your legs. You you're wasting less energy if you bend your legs, you slide back instead of wrestling with the pool, right? Yeah, that's what I do. So you bend your legs, slide back, and just keep trying pressure, constant pressure, Joe. Oh, Very good, Mr. Joe. Go. Keep fighting like that. Then we come and take it with power shots, okay? Beautiful work, Papi. Beautiful work. Look at the corner with that hook. That's all exactly. he's looking for. Exactly, that's all he's looking for, Papi. Man, I'm talking Mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. Let's go, gentlemen. Start of the ninth round with the IBF Junior Lightweight Championship on the line. Chris, what has stood out to you most about JoJo so far tonight? Well, it, it's the best of JoJo Diaz. The accuracy on his punches, 
You know, he's never been a huge volume puncher, but he's been an accurate puncher. More, more interesting is that Tevin Farmer, the head movements, it's just not what I'm used to seeing. In his last fight against Frenois, he had, it was almost a master class defensively. Frenois had a hard time putting a glove on him. Even some of the wider shots that Jojo Diaz is throwing, Tevin doesn't seem to be reacting as fast and getting out of the way. So, just not, not your typical Tevin Farmer fight. I, I agree 100%. Chris, I, I, just, I don't see the, the defensive prowess that we, we're used to seeing from Farmer. And credit to, to the cut man, Ben Lira, and Jojo Diaz's corner because they've done a great job of stopping that, the, the, the blood of that, just the gash on the left side of his face. It's a great point. Could have easily become a serious issue for Diaz after that accidental headbutt in the second round. Literally, I'm not going to tell you again. Stop holding and hit him. You understand? I'm not going to tell you again. Yeah, is being warned to stop listen. holding. Listen, 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 listen. Good combination there by Jojo Diaz. Digging downstairs, coming around with a right hook. And Sergio, Tevin Farmer just kind of stood there and took it. He's still taking them. I mean, he's getting hit with left hands now. I mean, it, this, this is unlike a Tevin Farmer type performance as far as defensive. Well, according to CompuBox, 41% of this fight has been fought at close range. Double the average. And obviously not what we are used to when it comes to Tevin Farmer. Farmer told us that he's the bigger man. He's going to impose his size and will on JoJo. Well, he's definitely doing that, but... But is, he, is that the smart strategy to do? Because we know he's a brilliant boxer, and he's a genius defensively, but he's, he's not doing none of that. He's fighting, the, he's fighting Jojo Diaz's fight, staying flat-footed. Maybe it's the hand injury. Uh, he keeps blinking his eyes in an in in awkward fashion. Maybe something's in his eye. It's just weird. This isn't a typical former performance where he's, he's on his toes, bouncing and moving behind that jab, looking sharp. This entire round has been fought inside. Tevin Farmer very casually dismissed the notion of Jojo Diaz being able to compete tonight. Farmer may be in some serious trouble here with three rounds remaining. Okay, we can't do that. Okay, the championship round. Exactly, we got to throw. Okay, we cannot let him work here. He has worked in this round. Okay, the judges see that. At the end of the day, it's not a matter of It's not a matter And here's the combination we're talking about. It starts with Jojo Diaz concentrating on the body with the right hook. And then coming upstairs cleanly with two shots right there, four, five, six punch combination by Jojo Diaz. Here's another look at it. Right, left. I mean, normally Tevin Farmer is dipping and dodging all these punches with waist movement, head movement, counter out, shots. Out, out. He's just standing Help too me. long in the pocket for Diaz to get Help off. Me. And you can see him try to get that shoulder up to block some of those punches. And the last one he did, but that entire combination most of those shots got through. Start of the 10th round. Jojo Diaz digs back at the body. Beautiful body shots right there. Even when you block them, those are going to be effective. Those are four or five punches to the body that Farmer absorbs. Chris, how do you have it scored? I have Jojo Diaz in control of this fight right now, 88 to 83. He's been accurate, he's been good, and again, it's more about the Tevin Farmer defense that we're used to seeing. It just hasn't been there tonight. Big shots there from Diaz. Oh, that right hand hurt Tevin Farmer. No, Farmer's, Farmer shook, and this isn't your typical Tevin Farmer performance. I mean, you got either got to credit Jojo Diaz for taking the fight out of Farmer, or Farmer just stylistically fight, fighting the wrong fight. Jojo Diaz, another fierce combination. Farmer looks tired to me as well when he misses. His feet aren't under him. Maybe, maybe he did uh, make weight the wrong way. Something's up. He just doesn't have the bounce on his, on his, uh, on his legs, on his toes. 
he dismissed the notion that making 130 was difficult for him, but we'll see if anything is unearthed after the fight because he has not had his usual bounce. Control, but right here, even when he misses punches, he falls off balance a little bit. Jojo Diaz said he felt like Farmer did not have any respect for him. I would think at this point, Farmer started to gain some. Farmer definitely didn't have no respect for him at the fighter meetings. He says, Jojo's too small, I'm gonna punish him, I'm gonna back him up. That's not the case so far. of 10 rounds in Miami. We need this two rounds big. Real big, you understand that? Yes. Real big. We gotta, we need, we need this two round big. So okay. everything, the box real pretty from the outside, just like you've been doing. He only get his shit over when we in the inside. Okay. You, understand, you understand that? You gotta come right back. You can see Jojo Diaz get off on what he does best is combination punching. Left and right hooks, right there, that right hook landed cleanly. Punching, backing up nicely. Let's go. No head movement from Farmer. Oh, peace. At the bell, gentlemen. Sergio, what's the upside to standing in the corner between rounds? It's not unique to Tevin Farmer. It's a handful of guys that do it, but what's the upside to that? Something, your, your legs aren't under you. That, that's really a sign. I mean, the fact that he's looked a little bit lethargic compared to all the performances and him standing up in the corner like that, it makes me think that he doesn't have energy, the energy he normally has. His legs aren't under him. So when a fighter stands in the corner like that, he wants to wake up his legs sometimes. Chino Rivas, the trainer for Tevin Farmer, has said that Tevin's will to win is what makes him special. Chino Rivas also said we really need these last two rounds, so concern in the corner of Tevin Farmer. He might need something spectacular these last two rounds, Chris. Well, if you're Tevin Farmer, you've got to make a hard assault on that body. We saw Farmer knock out James Tennyson a year or so ago with a vicious body shot. He's got to start attacking there, but we may be running out of time for that knockout punch. Yeah, but the thing about digging down to the body is you got to have legs under you. You, you need the thigh, the thigh strength and bend down your, your, up, your, your knees down there to really dig down there. And if you don't have legs, you're just going to be vulnerable for a counter. <laughs> See how careful Jojo Diaz is in these last couple of rounds. How comfortable he feels with his position and the work he's been able to do through the first 10 rounds. Farmer trying to work the body there. Third world title shot for Jojo Diaz. Hoping this time is the charm. The sharpness in not only the punching, but even the, the, the reaction time of Tevin Farmer's not there. 
He looks lethargic. He looks like he maybe struggled making weight. The legs aren't under him. He doesn't have that, that, that defensive genius that we're used to seeing from him. Well, the athleticism usually is so obvious with Farm. Shown in that defensive genius. He's not been there tonight this far. Skates away. I'm not used to seeing Farmer miss like that. Two wild swings like that. It's just unlike him. You understand that? Real big. If we don't get this one real big, I'm going to be honest with you. We're going to fucking lose. Okay? It's that, it's that. All day long when you jab and he can't do shit. Okay? When you get up to jab, okay, it's what he does. And another thing, you lean him with your shot, so he's waiting, taking a step back and he's trying to counter. Okay? Because you, instead of stepping with your shot, you lean him forward with it. Let's not do that. We need this not big, my son. I ain't gonna fucking bullshit you. You understand that? It's a tough fight. It's a very, very close fight. Hold it, hold it, hold it, in. hold it, and hold it. There you go, nice, yo. Let's go get it, let's go. 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 Let
his exclamatory celebration before the round was finished. And just did not seem like himself tonight, Sergio. And Jojo Diaz was very prepared for this opportunity and was able to navigate, courtesy of Ben Lira, his cut man, a dangerous gash early in this fight. What well, it appeared to us that Tevin Farmer was overlooking Jojo Diaz. He gave him no respect. And sometimes being overconfident can cost you, even though you're a world champion and, and a special fighter like Tevin Farmer. But when hunger beats skill sometimes, and the hungrier fighter was Joseph Diaz for this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a nice round of applause out here for both of these fighters. After 12 rounds of action here in Miami, Florida, we go to the judges' scorecards. John Rupert, 116-112. Richard Green and Alex Levin, 115-113. to All three for your winner, by unanimous decision. And the new IBF Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Joseph Jojo Diaz Jr. Incredible elation from the new world champion, Jojo Diaz. The charm for Jojo Diaz. The three most beautiful words a boxer could hear. And the new. Third time was the charm for Jojo Diaz. Not only for him, but his, his longtime faithful trainer and coach and cut man. Everybody that's been in this corner. Just an amazing victory for everybody in the Diaz camp.